in time for some more Drive Club in VR. Well, last time you guys really enjoyed it. Just saw the comments come through for the last video. So what we're going to do today is carry on with some Drive Club. Now, I'm going to answer some you, you guys' questions and queries about the game, that sort of thing. But also, I'm going to be using a controller this time. Now, the reason for that is because not a lot of people that will buy the PSVR will have a wheel set up straight away. A lot of people may have the headset and the controller. So I want to try it with a controller because obviously it's a bit more detached from the experience but also more than the normal game because you're still wearing VR. So let's put this VR headset on and see how it goes. I probably won't sweat as much this time as well because I'm actually just wearing the headset. Oh, okay. That leads me to my first point actually. So the little cleaning cloth you get with the PlayStation VR, it's the most useful thing you'll ever fucking have. I've never had to use one on any other piece of electronics I've ever owned. But this, you need it. Speaking of that, I somehow just steamed up my headset straight away. No fucking Now, one clue. question people had about the PlayStation VR in my last video was, actually, why doesn't it look that good? Now, to you, it won't look very good at all, for the reason that it is not, like, full 1080p as it normally is. Downgraded is what people were saying about it. And, yes, it is downgraded. And the reason for it being downgraded is because the frame rate needs to be 60 frames per second. Otherwise, you will be motion sick. But one thing to realize is you don't see how I am seeing it on this headset. I am seeing it much better than you are on this TV. Because of the fact it's on, like, in the VR headset. It's, like, literally next to my face. You have to remember that. It's next to my face. With you, it's stretched out to 1080p because... The actual game is not 1080p on PSVR, no game out. Well, technically it is, but it's 1080p and split down the middle. So you're getting basically half of 1080p. So it doesn't look as good for you, but for me, because I have both eyes, instead of just the one that you're going to get, I'll see it better than you. The Lycan Hypersport. And this is a new track as well. You may not have seen this before. It looks awesome. It will be added to the base game very soon. But anyway, let's see how this all works with the controller. That's made me think. I want to see how this works with the controller because of the fact it's going to be different. If I can just... There we go. If I could just get it... Well, this isn't right. <laughs> there we go. Hold options if we can actually adjust it. So I'm now in the Lycan Hypersport. It's so cool the way that... I meant to close the door. Get back in. Can I actually get behind the cap? Oh, the wang lifts up. I want to look over there. Look at this beautiful booty. I love it. Right, let's get back into the Lycan. I didn't mean to close it. Oh, my God. Right, let's rev the Lycan Hyperspot then. Oh, all right. I'm going to lean out the door again. Are you ready, lads? Fuck it. It's boiling out here. Oh, that sounds amazing. I look like a right weirdo, probably, but... I see this so awesomely, like, it looks so much fucking cooler to me than it does to you, and that's really annoying, but just, you, when you actually experience it yourself, like, because there'll be set up in shops, I imagine, very soon, you're gonna absolutely freaking love it. I wanna, there we go, press that one. Let's have a look around here. Look at that shifter, it looks so we it looks like you're now still, though. Let's start this bad boy up, press continue, move up the, a little bit in the seat, because I wanna be higher. There we go. Okay, how does it work with a controller? We're about to find out. Let's go! So we're on just a normal time trial. How do I shift again? I've completely forgot. I need to change the settings. I need to fucking change the settings. Here we go then. Got the control set up just like Forza's handling. So basically square to shift down and circle to shift. Oh my god. Okay, now first impressions. This is awesome. This is a drift squad. Let's try to do this. Oh, come on. Shite oh! This is awesome. This is actually feels really, really cool, honestly. Obviously, it's a little bit weird because I'm not using the wheel, but I thought it was going to feel weirder. I honestly did. I, I did. Oh, fuck! I expected it to kind of feel disconnecting in a way, but I still feel really, really well connected because I'm obviously in VR. I can move around a lot more. Again, it's still not as good as with a wheel. And obviously, I'm going to try for we're driving over the next couple of minutes. Oh! Don't crash into that wall. Oh my god, you see that smoke? Drift face off! Drift! Yes, 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 yes. We spun it! We're doing flippy whippies in VR. Yes! God, that made me feel fucking dizzy there. Which is good, because that's what happens in VR. So that wang pop up. Now, how does it actually feel to play this game with a controller in third person view? Because obviously you can't really play it with a wheel in third person view. It really made me freak out in a way. I would say this works better. Third person. Oh! Not better than first person, but I'm saying like it works better in this view 
on a controller than it does on a wheel. Because with a wheel, you feel a bit weird. Like, I, you could probably get used to it, as I said. But for now, this actually feels really awesome. But I'm actually going to switch back to the first person here. There's the view that you really want to use. Now, I'm going to start moving my head around a little bit more. I've kind of been, like, trying to stay as stable as possible at the moment. Because, obviously, I want you guys to be able to see it properly without, like, feeling sick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you feel sick, but... It would kind of be jumping everywhere, like, so now I'm going to start moving my head as if you would if you are playing properly. Here we go. Okay, there's corner. Shit. That's the fucking wall. That's fine. I was watching a few other people, like, play this game, and Rushy, so he's, like, the uh, the developer of, like, Drive Club. He, he was the creative director of Evolution Studios. Shit. But now... <laughs> But now he's obviously gone back to, uh, gone, well, gone back to, gone to Codemasters because, well, they all got bloody sacked. Thanks, Sony. But he was, like, flinching and everything from this game. Was, can I get out of the car? Hey! Hey, buddy, that was fucking weird. My chair, like, spanned, so I need to check if I'm facing the right way still. That's pretty much the right way. Anyway, carrying on. So, all this power compared to, like, the fucking Renault and stuff we were driving before. It's so awesome. Everything, like, is... I don't know, for some reason this car feels a bit better, like, sized than the other car. Maybe that's something that's a little bit off, the sizing of the cars. But it's it's actually working pretty well with the controller. I expected it to be absolutely shite with the controller. I thought I was going to be disconnected and everything, but no, I could actually use this. Oh! Trying to find my drink with the VR headset on is not the safest thing I've ever done. Wait, can we actually see the car go past? Where is it? I can hear it. Now, one thing I really want to show you guys is the replay. So, if we go to view replay, we actually sit in the passenger seat. And there's me. Oh, it's his face. Man, are you okay? Shift gears, you fucking cunt. Shift gears. Are you a bastard? That's what you... You're not a fucking cunt. I tell you, I can drive better than you. You're shit at the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you see my reaction? Then I actually, like, moved because... Uh, oh. Hold on! Hold on, he's a bad man! He's a fucking mad man! But yeah, you don't actually see the character when you're playing the game because obviously you've just got the hands there, so otherwise it would be really disconnecting in, in the way, but looking at this fella go, he is pulling. Hey, he's doing great. I know it's technically me in the past, but he's he's a fucking look at him with the wheel, the way oh Oh I get a bit dizzy. Yeah, this is See, right, that's one thing I've gotta say actually. That's a good question. So I don't get motion sick when driving. In real life, I actually have quite heavy motion sickness when it comes to people driving quickly when I'm in the passenger seat, but more so the issue is buses or coaches. I can't stay on them for too long otherwise I get mad, madly motion sick. So, this is me in the passenger seat on Drive Club. If I get motion sick from this, that's kind of good because it makes me think that this is actually real. So, I will tell you very soon over time how I feel from being in the passenger seat in this game. I mean, it's kind of not good that I'd get motion sick, if I get motion sick from this, but at the same time, that makes it make, makes you see that my brain thinks this is almost real, pretty much. It's crazily real, because then obviously I'd be... I, like, I don't get motion sick from driving in the game, so if I do be in the passenger, it will be basically my brain thinking this is real, and that's cool, because I know it's not, but my brain would think that, you know? It's, it's, it's interesting. Look at him! He's a jeep! He's also a fucking madman. I feel dizzy. Ah, oh, I actually do. I'm just going to hold on, mate. I'm going to hold on to the door if you don't mind. Because you, you go in a bit mad here. You go in a bit mad. Huh. Huh. Oh. Put two hands on the... There you go. You need two hands. Two hands. Two, I know you're shifting gear, but two hands. You don't need... You stop resting your hand on that gear shifter. Stop it. Where's the handbrake? There it is. It's that... Oh, fuck. I'm really feeling like... Not, not sick, but... The, the dizziness of, like, moving around in a car that's going this quick, I'm kind of getting that. Which, again, good and bad. Mate, how about I just lean over to your side? I'll give you a quick kick. What the, I just pressed the fucking button. <laughs> lean over to your side. Oh, fuck. Be careful. I'm gonna... <laughs> I want to I give him a kiss. Come here, mate. <laughs> you asked me to do that. I'm not gay. You should make me, me... I'm a straight man. Don't make me do that, okay? It's okay for you to be gay. D and don't force it on me, okay? So I've rewound a little bit, because what I want to do, I actually want to get up. <laughs> I want to get up and see if I can actually, like, stand out the roof. <laughs> Outside the play area. Good. I am a madman. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, put your head back in. All right, all right, I'm going back in. 
Oh, fuck me. I'm sat on this. <laughs> I fucked it up. I'm gonna try and st sit where he is, alright? I'm gonna. <laughs> Come out. Wait. I oh. Oh. Stop. Stop the car. <laughs> I am inside of you. I'm like pushing the car. Can you see that? <laughs> alright. Uh, let's have a look at the speedos a little bit here. Oh, 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 that's fucking trippy as shit. I wanna look at this. Hello, mate. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> Hello. Can I have a kiss, please? <laughs> Alright, that was fucking brilliant. So we're gonna carry on now. Uh, we're gonna try something a little bit different. But yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I I, I didn't expect you to be able to like walk around as fucking like cut out because the 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 vibe is much like better that kind of thing like being oh, is it room scale whereas this is just using a camera this is just using a camera and these lights so that's amazing how they've managed to do that but carry I'm gonna try and do the menu for the TV. The TV doesn't look as good as the actual headset. No, definitely not. Uh, but we're going to go to a, do a race now. Uh, go back, actually. I want to do the tour. I like how the lights are there, because if it was at night... You got a trailer? I'm a proper race driver. Wait! This is this section here. This is from, like, the trailers. I remember this. That is awesome. They've actually used that as, like, an in-game asset now. Uh, the three uh, two th th yeah, M235i, which is a little bit freaky. I'm actually going to go with that thing. I'm gonna go to Understeer Heaven if I die from this. Oh, yes! Nice interior choices in this thing. Nice cream seats that are gonna really mess up. Can I actually read those dials? I can't. They're, they're a little bit blurry. I can't read them that well, but I can still actually read them. You might not be able to read them at all, but I can, so that's good. That's all that matters. I need to see what speed I'm going. I don't really need to see it, but... I mean, it's kind of useful. So, we've got the little, the little objective screen there if we want to use it. But again, I'm using a controller on this. It's a little bit weird when you sway. Like, that's the only weird thing so far. The swaying when you actually... Up your ass. The swaying when you uh, when you turn f first time. But once you actually, like, realize why it's doing it, you kind of get, get it. This view kind of makes sense. That's meant to be a bumper, isn't it? So this view this view is actually pretty cool as well. I mean, I, I, I still prefer the one with the wheel. My, my The first person in this game, no matter what like, version of this game you're playing. The standard game with a controller, with a wheel, this version with a wheel, this version with a controller, whatever you're playing, the best view is the cockpit view. It's just much more, like, you get so much more speed feeling from it and everything is, it, and you actually mean, like, the cars seem to, like, handle better. Like, you, they're more predictable to handle. Oh, I saw you break... You Audi tailgating knob, you just touched my bottom. My car just sounds like it's wheel spinning constantly for some reason. That is, that actually, I'm kind of used to this now. I could use this third person view with the controller. I couldn't use it with a wheel, but if I go into the cockpit view, this is, this is my home. This is like, this is, this is where the love is. What was that noise? Ah, my lighthouse, that is mine. Let's go back. Oh, don't turn your head like that when you're dri driving past things. That water is beautiful. It's not that good, actually. It doesn't look as good as it. Look at the rails. They're just jigging everywhere. The game definitely took a visual impact for, like, the, the thing. But it's not too bad. Like, when I look at this and compare it to the base game. So, in the headset and compare it to the base game on the TV. Look at that. I'm at the side. That is cool I do that. They're like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I just hit you. <laughs> the side of the road looking at the cars go past when you compare this to like the base game It's not that bad. Goodbye You massive knob look at him generic white man. I will race you. I'll beat you Fuck off my oh shit. I can't wait for like proper mainstream games to get this imagine just cruising around on GTA in this headset Oh, that would be so incredible like it's not that hard of a feature to implement in some cases. In a lot of cases, it will be the fact that, like, the controls and that kind of thing. And the gameplay itself has just got to be so much smoother because any slight problems and you will cause motion sickness. And that, like, that's, that's the... Are you fucking kidding me? You're fucking force of invisible pole could... Oh, we got 80%. And as I said, I'm trying to kind of keep it a little bit more stable at the same time as well. That guy is trying to get past me. He can fuck off. I took the wrong line. That's shambles. Absolute fucking shambles. Oh, he just took out the Merc. You dirty Audi knob. Is it an Audi? I can't tell because of the quality. The quality of the badge. I can't see the badge. And its fucking color doesn't help either. And it was an Audi though. You can tell by the lights. If it's not, I'm going to look like an idiot. No! Shift out. Power. No! I need to win. Are we losing the objective now? We need to get a top two finish. Well, I've cocked that one up on sight. For God's sake! Yes, sir! Pa no! 
And we beat the objective as well. That's good. Now we're just going to finish in the first two positions, which should be easy if I stay concentrated, which is something I find very fucking difficult to do, apparently. 96, 97. This has to finish. Boys, you got your ass whooped. You got your ass whooped. Yes, yes. Look at him in the shitty simmer. There we go. Done. Sorted. We've completed all the objectives for that. So that, my friends, means we've completed that championship and we get the Bimmer. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got quite a few cars there. That is beautiful. That Bimmer is going to be very handy. But that, my friends, was some more PSVR. I am sweating, as you can clearly see. This is the only game thing that makes me sweat. You see the lines on my face and everything. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more PSVR. I am loving it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.